the importance of being specific with what you want in life. Why do you need to be specific with what you want to achieve out of your life? When it comes to setting goals and achieving them, you are told that we need to be specific. But why? In this video, you are going to discover the importance of being specific with what you want in life and how you can do that. I want to be rich. I want to be happy. I want to travel around the world. Now how many times you have heard about these phrases when it comes to identifying what we leave in our lives? Well, we all know that we want out our lives. But there is one problem though, we are not being specific with it. And this is why most people fail to achieve their goals or materialize their dreams. They are not being specific. Imagine a friend of yours invites you to exercise together. Hey, I am going to exercise sometime this week. Do you want to join me? Hey, I am hitting the gym XYZ tomorrow at 5.30 pm. Do you want to join me? Now, which question do you think is more powerful? And which scenario do you think is more likely to happen? Obviously, the second scenario has more power and there is a higher chances that you are getting to hit the gym with this scenario. And that's the power of being specific. When it comes to achieving what you want out of life or reaching your goals, you need to be specific. The more specific you are, the better. Most people fail to achieve the success they want because they are not being specific enough. Here are a couple of reasons why specificity is important to your success. Vague intentions has no power. Yes, you have heard it right. Having a vague intentions creates no power. When you put a piece of paper under the hot sun, it won't burn. But with the help of magnifying glasses, you can burn the paper within minutes. When you focus the sun ray to a point, it can burn the paper. The same principle applies to our lives. When you are being vague, doing everything and running everywhere, when you are not being specific, you can't focus your energy. But when you are specific, you gather all the energy and focus it at one point. And that's when the magic happens. You can burn paper because you are being specific. Take a look at all the successful people out there. They are being super specific with what they want. And they focus all their energy into that one thing. And this is why they can create extraordinary results in what they do. When you are being vague, you venture into everything. You try everything and you scatter your energy. You can't burn paper when your energy is in focus. This is how people become media core. They lack clarity in what they want. They don't know where they want to go and they don't have a clear direction of where to go. Never let this happen to you. Be specific with what you want. Being specific helps you craft a better plan. You know what? When you are specific and when you know exactly what kind of results you are pursuing, you can then make a better plan to get there. Don't say that you want to live a happy life because that's vague and you are not giving your mind clear instructions of what it needs to do to be happy. What must happen for you to feel happy? Ask yourself that question and answers will help you be more specific. Maybe living a debt free life is a happy life for you. So what you need to do then is to work hard 
to pay off your debits. And as you see yourself progressing, slowly paying off your debt, you will be happy. Now that's being specific. Can you see the difference now? When you're specific, you can easily formulate a plan or come up with an actionable steps to achieve the things that you want. But when you're vague, you can't draft the plan or give your mind a specific instructions on how to get there. You become more proactive. In other words, you're being specific, you become proactive. Just like when you say that you want to exercise. But if you're not being specific, highly likely you're not going to carry out a plan. But when you're being specific, like when you tell yourself you want to run in the park on Wednesday at 7 a.m., your chances of performing the actions will increase. The reason is simple. When you're specific, you are instructing your mind as to what you want to do. And your mind will constantly remind you about it because you're being specific. When the time comes, you will take action and do it. Therefore, if you are someone who always procrastinate or you think you are someone lazy who doesn't have the drive to do things, think again. Maybe it is not because you are lazy. Maybe it is because you are not being specific with what you want and you are not giving instructions to your brain. Do you know why successful people are hardworking? They take massive actions because they are specific. They know what they want. Specificity motivates you and inspires others. Imagine you set yourself a goal to change your old car and get a new one. If your goal is to change to a new car, then you are not being specific enough. And this goal won't give you much motivation. However, when you're being specific, say like your goal is to sell your old car and buy a new white colored Mercedes Bench E350 by the end of the year, it drives you. When I mention the car brand, the color and the model, you can picture the car in your head. You can see it vividly in your mind's eye. As a result, you will feel emotionally connected with the goal. And guess what will happen then? You become motivated to achieve it. Not just that, when you are specific, you inspire others too. Why do you think people prefer to work in a bigger and visionary companies like Tesla and Google? Well, it is because they are specific with their vision and mission. When you work in a company that doesn't have a clear goal or a specific vision, you won't feel inspired to work. This is how being specific can motivate you and inspire others. So remember, if you're not feeling excited or motivated with your goals, check if your goals are specific. Make your goals specific so you feel motivated to achieve them. Specificity saves time, energy and money. Do I need to explain and elaborate this further? Being specific saves you time and money? This is especially true if you are a leader in a company. You can't afford not to be specific. When your instructions to your team or associates are not specific, you will create a lot of confusion. Here is something that happens in the most of the companies wasting times on unnecessary meetings. This is what you get when people are not being specific. No matter what you want to achieve out of your life, being vague will waste you a lot of energy, time and money. The more specific you are, the better you can communicate your desires with others. And that's how you save time and getting things done. I remember I hired a freelancer to help me design a website and because I'm not being specific with the details that I wanted for my website, I ended up getting a website that was not what I wanted. As for the freelancer, 
He has wasted a lot of time going back and forth with me to find to find out what I want. Lessons learned. Be specific to save time, energy and money. You are likely to be succeeded. You should know by now that being specific increases your rate of success, right? I hope you enjoyed and liked watching the importance of being specific with what you want in life. Well, we all want to live a successful life. But what does success mean to you? Have you ever thought about it? The first thing I want you to do is to define the success you want. Stay tuned for some more exciting videos coming on your way which will make the difference. Till then, take care.